soldiers approaching Metropolis. Um, what drew me to him is he's just he's just a badass character. <laughs> I mean, it's as simple as that. In the comics and in like the animated series, he's the only one who could hold Superman by the collar and literally backhand him and slap him around the city. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> He's cool. I mean, he's a, he's got great full screen options. He's I mean, you know, he's a boss character. Got minions. I really like that. I like his mix ups because, in my honest opinion, I think Darkseid is super cheap, <laughs> and that he has like crazy setups and mix ups that are like hard to blockable. Plus, you have to hold them 50-50s that lead into like 30, 40 percent damage, 400 damage rather. I was like, yeah, he's just a really cool character, I find. Like, you know, those kind of rulers of the underworld type of boss characters, like, hands behind the back. I just think that looks so cool. And he's like a glass cannon. He's kind of squishy in the fact that he's kind of, like, got a bit of... He's got, he's got low health and certain areas of the screen, you know, he's not that great. But where he excels in, he's, like, bar none, one of the best characters in those areas. And I just love that. I love dominating people in matchups you know it's really cool to me so yeah dark side all the way um well let me go with dark side in fact last week i was using black adam because a, the day before my, I, I, like I found out that Darkseid was banned for that warm-up tournament. So I pretty much was like, okay, um, I, I was teaching my friend how to play Black Adam, right? So I just knew a few combos. I was like, okay, for the next day, I'll just brush up on my Black Adam. So I pretty much learned Black Adam in a day, figured him out. And then the next day I came fifth, I think. Yeah, I came fifth, which I couldn't really complain about. And yeah, this, this week I heard Black Adam was back in the roster for the tournament and it was a no-brainer for me like that is pretty much the first guy I picked up when the game came out on the first day I just went straight to him went to the lab so yeah no-brainer for me um the first match I just said hey whatever you do don't start standing there blocking from full screen and block his mix up which <laughs> which <laughs> to be fair i didn't do very well <laughs> in the first match I, I was just getting hit by the low overhead like every time and i don't i don't know why because i labbed it so like so effectively like i knew the first hit is a low the low shot and then the overhead punch i just kept saying don't get hit by that and then after that you've got your turn back because I knew if I can get my turn back, then Darkseid, when he has a turn, he mixes you up. And then from there, it's 400 damage. When that happens, Darkseid can handle himself on full screen. So I don't mind sitting from full screen taking trades when I have a you no know, 400 damage life lead. You know? So that was the main focus was... Darkseid was that... Um, sorry, not Darkseid, but... Um, Deadshot needs lots of patience from full screen. You know, Deadshot needs so much patience from full screen if you're trying to play him. Otherwise, you get hit by everything and you lose the match. I was getting hit by a lot and, you know, the overhead low was hitting me. And that was just kind of the, the difference. I was just like, stop getting hit by that slowly but surely. You've got time. You know, I've got, a, I've got four matches to get this right. So I've got the winner's advantage. So I just need to take my time, understand the matchup get comfortable here and then just keep going you know after the 2-0 um i felt i was like in fact i just took it like a long set i felt like you know okay this is the slate white clean it's zero zero again like that was just my my thinking it's zero zero again I've adjusted, I've gone on two games to understand this guy's playstyle. I have the advantage, I'm in the ascendant seat. Um, yeah, what was annoying me the most, I guess, was myself. 
I don't feel like Dead Shot was beating me more than I was beating myself. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize that when they fight Dead Shot. And most zoners in fighting games, I think a lot of people were, were, were falling victim to the same thing against my dark side as well. And that they just don't want to sit still, you know. I was just way too antsy from full screen and Dead Shot will punish you for that. He will catch your jumps and juggle you for big damage. You know, you throw out a projectile at the wrong time, he ducks under it, and suddenly you're eating low shot for like, you know, 160 damage. And yeah, I guess that was what was annoying me, just the fact that I wasn't sitting still. Not more, you know, less so that he was, you know, doing like crazy stuff I had never seen before or anything, where he was just out playing me, you know, in that sense. I felt like I was out playing myself more than anything. So, yeah, just all I need is the one win, and when I got that one win, I knew that, you know, it's not that hard to get the second. Because the thing about, about that, about, you know, sets is they can go, they can just swing one way or the other at any one moment in time once you understand one or two very key parts of the matchup. And I was starting to understand in the second game, I felt like, yes, I lost, but I didn't lose, like... It wasn't a landslide. That was a very important thing for me. I thought that um, those matches were, I wouldn't say amazingly close because he was dealing with me well, but they were close enough to where I knew what I needed to do next. Yeah. And, you know, I made a few adjustments about my teleports and, you know, a few other things. And yeah, I felt like I was ready for the second set. After taking the first round, um, I felt like I was confident. At that point, I knew I could take the set because I realized that what I was, what I'd figured out, I had actually figured out because what I was doing was now working. You know, I felt like I was what my game plan after downloading him for the first two matches, the first set was. Like, I had now combined that with my current strategy, and I was like, okay, now I know what I'm getting hit by, what works, what doesn't, I'm gonna do more of what works, you know? So I was really happy when, about the fact that I would adjusted, and I felt more confident in my ability to understand what he was doing after that first win. Um, in the second set, my main focus was just to stay grounded more because I felt like he was dealing with my air mobility well, you know, to his credit, he was anti-airing me quite consistently and I felt like teleport was becoming less and less of an option um, because, yeah, it's, it's a very scary option if you're not expecting it so I just felt like if I vary it up I change it up, I'm more unpredictable with my air options I can do well and you know, Darkseid is not a slouch on the ground either, so it's not like I was jumping because I had nothing else to do. And I didn't have any other jumping, op you know, air options as well. You know, I just felt like I was kind of on autopilot a bit in the first set. So the second set, I just felt like, okay, free set, took a breather, took deep bits, thought to myself, this is the slate wipe clean, now you have information, go use it, you know. Yeah, in the third round, I, I was pretty... I was actually, like, really confident about beating him. Not because, you know, I thought I downloaded him or anything, but I felt like the second round was lost through... Um, 
you know, once again, was lost through just circumstance. Sometimes that just happens to you in a set and you don't have to get, let that throw you off. I felt like I had understood what he was trying to do. So it wasn't a matter of trying to get new information. I knew with what I knew now, I could take that and just make better decisions in the moment. Just calm down, make better decisions and you win the set, you know? Just kind of belief in what I had, what I was going for. Knew if I got out of the gate pretty well, I would probably win the set. And when I actually got the first, you know, few hits and I realized, okay, I'm in the I'm in the ascendant seat here. I'm in control. If I slow it down and I make him have to come to me, I'm probably gonna win it more. And I just stood full screen, understood what he was respecting, what he wasn't, and I just took advantage of that. I have the mental edge going into next week. I knew I had to set the bad presidents early, you know, and well by winning this this tournament. I felt like I could do it. You know, I had belief that I could do it. I knew what I what I would do heading into it. Uh, just winning that just it felt like a massive massive indication. You know, like what you the what I'd worked on this week, the practice that I put in paid off. You know. <laughs> 